How is it going, lads? Welcome back to a brand new video. It is a new week of weekly objectives. It is Friday, and we have two or three, sorry, brand new uh, weekly objectives that I've completed two of. That's where I'm getting the two from. Now, of course, it is Bundesliga and Liga Nost team of the season. So, in I guess remuneration. I can't say that word. Anyway, basically, yeah, you've given us a Tots Egerstein, uh, a team of the season Brahimi, and a team of the season Thorgan Hazard as our weekly objectives players. And as you see here, I have got to got myself uh, Egerstein and Brahimi, as they are the two easiest ones. Um, now, Thorgan Hazard is a little bit harder. It's kind of self-explanatory as well. We will get into that at some point in this video. Uh, but these ones are the ones I wanted to make a video on and talk about today. Uh, Brahimi looks like a decent card. Uh, this actually looks like a card that could be semi-usable off the bench as maybe a cam or a, a winger. Great dribbling, great passing, great shooting, great pace apart from sprint speed. Uh, off the mark, he's going to be fantastic, but he will get caught by a lot of players. So I'd probably play him as maybe a central cam. Um, Egerstein looks okay. Uh, this one's a little bit tricky. Like he's only 5'11", so he's really a little bit too short to be a CDM with really poor jumping. Great stamina, uh, decent strength. Dribbling's okay. For 87 dribbling, the stats you've got there are really not the stats you want. You want agility and balance. You want reactions. You want composure. And they are the stats that are kind of lacking. Um, passing is, again, I mean, short and long passing is great. Vision's great. Crossing, free kick accuracy, curve, poor. Shooting's not great. Uh, pace isn't great either. 77 on both is just a kind of a bit of a... I mean, this card would be great in a budget team, but apart from that, I'd... Uh, I don't think this team will ever make um, my this card will never make my team, but it's an ATA rated team of the season card that is great for SBCs season will save you a lot of coins. Now let's talk about how to get these cards. So let's talk about Tox Egerstein first, as it's the most uh, straightforward one. It's assisting 14 goals in squad battles using German players. Now this one's pretty similar, if not almost identical to Declan Rice last week. Um, is on world class difficulty, which may intimidate a lot of players if you're maybe not one of the best players. Now. What I would advise and what I advised last time is make sure that you are playing the worst possible teams. Now, the first team I played was this team. Uh, this team, I managed to get uh, 10 goals against, uh, nine of which were German assists. Unfortunately, one was, a, one was a penalty, so it was kind of a bit, you know. But this is the first team I played against. Uh, the second team I played against was this. It was poor chemistry, but a better team, which was more difficult. And then th this was the third team I played against, which was decent chemistry, half-decent team, way more difficult. Uh, annoyingly, the, the AI in squad battles does cheat. I mean, it's an AI coded to win. Obviously, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be difficult to play against. So what I would advise you guys doing, obviously, keep refreshing the squads throughout the week until you can get yourself uh, a team that looks like this. It had 61 rating, 25 chemistry. Just keep refreshing until you get the really poor rating, really poor chemistry teams. And let me show you guys what team I use now. Um, one thing I do want to say, the way to uh, actually refresh the opponents, now I don't know exactly how many times you get, if someone could tell me down below, I'll make sure to pin the comment, uh, but you get refreshes every few hours on the weekend and then during the week I think it's every, every day. Um, the way to do it is press R2 or RT uh, and it'll give you the option to refresh once you've played the poor team, refresh and it'll give you four brand new teams and as you see at the top right underneath my score it says how long until the next opponent update. Unfortunately you guys can't actually see it, let me quickly remove my webcam here and my webcam border. As you guys can see there uh, two hours and 15 minutes until next opponent update is there. So uh, that is uh, that is how you do it, basically. Now, the team I used to do this was... Uh, it, was it wasn't it was a, a poor team at all. It was a good team. Um, this is the team I use. Now, uh, I use Werner. Uh, Werner the Burner is my main striker uh, up top. Um, I used Philip uh, in one of the games, uh, basically because I was using a one-striker formation to start. And I was like, why am I doing this? I need to play a formation I'm comfortable with. Make sure you play the formation that you are most comfortable with your main team and use play players from your main team that you're comfortable using as you see Patrick Vieira and Matthias uh, David Luiz, I, I use Laporte, uh, decent right back and left back uh, make sure you are very comfortable with the plays you're playing and then just replace the ones that, that you think you can replace with Germans and just try and play the football through them, uh, you'll find it quite easy on the screen now I'll show you a few clips from the squad battles games I played, they were pretty simple and pretty easy goals but basically what I did was I just played the kind of FIFA I usually play um, and especially against bronzes it is really really easy, uh, especially Especially on, even even it is on world uh, world class difficulty, it is still pretty easy with uh, when you're against bronzes. So just play natural calm FIFA uh, and just try and score a bunch of goals. It's not as difficult as you may think. Even if you are a poor player or maybe you're just not as good as other people, it's not as difficult as you may think. Don't let it get into your head like that, uh, and you'll have more success rate in the game. I promise you that. Good looking squad battles. Uh, I hope you guys can do it. And don't forget. 
even if you can't do it in one or two games, even if it takes you all week to do it, you're going to get better rewards at the end of the week if it takes you more games regardless. So don't worry about it because you are going to get packs at the end of the week anyway. And the more games you play, the more points you'll get, the better packs you get at the end of the week. So it's not a big deal if you don't do it in the first few games. I, I actually struggled a lot on this one. It took me three games as opposed to one or two like the usual. Um, so don't worry about it. It is difficult. It's difficult against uh, the AI, especially on world-class difficulty. So don't worry about it. Now, let's talk about team of the season Brahimi. Team of the season Brahimi is actually a decent card and the way you do it is you get uh, seven wins in online single matches using a Liga Nos team. Now this is a team that I used. Obviously I know you guys won't be able to afford or most of you guys won't be able to afford a team like this. Um, so I want to talk you through the reason why I pick certain players and players you can replace there and whatnot. Um, because although this team is fantastic, uh, if you're a decent player you can build a team a lot cheaper than this and still do it. Um, there is a few things going around. You can put in your team first goal wins, and then if you score, they are likely to quit if they have first goal wins, or vice versa. If they score first, you you quit kind of thing. Um, you can put home W in there as well, so home game wins or home team wins. Um, there's loads of different things you could put in your team name to try and get yourself easier wins, and other people are trying to do the same thing. Look around on Twitter. Look around on Reddit. There's a lot of different things on there. Uh, different YouTubers saying put their name in your in your team name to actually get yourself easier wins and whatnot. But this is the team that I built. Uh, this guy is a beast, by the way. Big fan of him. It took me eight games. I lost one of them, uh, won seven others. Uh, so unfortunately, I actually couldn't do it flawlessly. It did take me one game where I couldn't actually win. Um, but what I went for is a pacey left winger. This guy had five-star skills, so I went for him. He's only 31,000 coins. He's not expensive. He might even be cheaper when you're watching this video. I regretfully went with Felix or Zhao Felix. I actually sub this guy off every single time for Eusebio. Now, don't forget, you can actually get yourself three substitutions per game. So make sure you put your three strongest players on the bench and don't put two strong players. If you don't have coins, don't spend loads of coins on like midfielders if you've got two really good midfielders in the club. Now, I wasn't going into games uh, and pausing it straight away. I was letting pauses happen naturally. Uh, and if I had to go to halftime, I would. But what I'd do is I would bring on my Socrates and my Vieira and and then my Eusebio, um, if either a pause naturally occurred by my opponent or if uh, the game went to half time and, and he hadn't quit by then. I know that sounds arrogant. It just, with this kind of team, it already intimidates people enough. Now, what I did was I went for Eder Militao. His upgrade card is a centre-back, so you can go his upgrade card. It's still got fantastic stats. I think he has an informed card that's a lot cheaper as well. This card is 279,000 coins. It is quite expensive, but if you can afford it, do it. Uh, I went with Almeida because it's a strong-looking right-back, and he's only 57k. That's not a lot of coins. Uh, Pizzi's very cheap for what he is. This card is actually phenomenal. Very, very good card. And I would recommend, if you can afford him, to pick him up because he's a very, very good addition to the team. Bruno Fernandes, like I said, beast. 284k is quite a lot, but it's not as much as other uh, uh, cams with similar stats as well. Like, if a cam had similar stats in the Prem like this, he'd probably be like four, 500k. Um, I went with Alex Tellez because he's the strongest left back in the in the team and uh, he's the most expensive player in the team as well. Then I went with Felipe because he's a very strong option. I went with Cassias and Net because there isn't really too many other strong options. And all I did was I played my style of FIFA that I wanted to play and I found, obviously, the intimidation tactic of having this team meant that a lot of people quit already like people will see the team i'll score and then they'll quit but um i just played my style of fifa and i really enjoyed it actually i enjoyed playing um not quite the sweatiest of fifa really um it definitely was more enjoyable now what i would advise to you guys is make sure if you don't what if you don't have your team name as like first first goal wins or first goal rage quit or anything like that play to the final whistle because what you'll find is if people are using normal gold league and players their stamina runs out and depletes a lot so you can push and attack 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 in the last 10 15 minutes and what you'll find is you might score a lot of late goals that's something i would advise you guys doing and if you do have maybe three 400k spare i think at this point in fifa a lot of people will have like a good amount of coins spare like maybe 100 to 500k if i were you i would pick up like a team of the season felipe a team of the season pizzi a team of the season akuna a team of the season uh almeida for example uh, maybe get like a different team of the season in midfield or maybe get yourself like a special card in midfield or if you've done the if you've done the league SBC method get yourself that Herrera in midfield I would try and make this team strong as possible because ultimately it's going to take you less time but if you want to play the game more then make it a weaker team that's completely up to you uh, that is just the advice I give you for this because uh, I found this really easy and I actually really enjoyed it as well um, and I know this team is obviously off limits for a lot of people but I just think that it's a it's a team that I I, I used and enjoyed it in and uh, I will be selling these guys 
guys after. So don't forget, you will be able to sell them after and it won't be a huge loss or anything like that. You may lose a bit on tax, but that's probably about it. Um, in fact, I would hazard a guess to say that these haven't dropped too much. If I look at Bruno Fernandes on Footbin real quick, um, I can tell you his price on PlayStation is 280,000 coins. He's dropped 4,000 coins since I used him. So you really aren't losing a lot of coins. Now, the hardest one is the team of the season Dorgan Hazard. I've not even tried it yet because I know it's going to be very sweaty. And in Div 1, it's even sweatier. If you can relegate yourself, if you really want that Hazard card, I would probably do that because it, honestly, it's going to get very difficult very quickly. But if you can't and you want to play it out and you're going to you're gonna grit it out in like D1, D2, D3, um, obviously just get yourself, like if you can afford it, get yourself a De Bruyne. This card is a decent card, but in my opinion, it isn't worth absolutely like bending over backwards for. It isn't worth like putting yourself into an early grave for really. Like 80 finishing isn't fantastic. 83 composure isn't fantastic. If I were you, unless you intend on playing a lot of rivals this week, I wouldn't put yourself through it for this card because it's only an 89 rated card. Ultimately, that's maybe like 55,000 coins worth of a card if you're not going to use it in your main team. Obviously, if you're going to use it, then, then do it. Um, but if you're going to use it, I believe Yannick Carrasco is quite cheap. Uh, he's got decent passing. He's got a half decent card. Um, I believe Normal Hazard is quite cheap at the minute. I believe Normal De Bruyne is quite cheap at the minute. So there are some decent players. I would build, I would get your normal team and then build on that and just build a front trio of, of Belgians. So in my team, I would replace Firmino with De Bruyne. I would replace Eusebio with maybe Lukaku and I would replace Buchagrena with maybe uh, Eden Hazard and I would just go from there. It's probably going to be the best way you can do it in my opinion because ultimately um, you want to play your style of FIFA. You're going to feel more comfortable with that and you want more than one player because it's going to be very difficult to push the play through one player if you want to get an assist with that player. But if you've got three or four, you'll find naturally you're going to get assists with them. So that is my advice for the three objective players this week. If you do enjoy this video, leave a like down below. Thank you so much for how many views on the last one? Uh, last week's video has 235,000 views. That is absolutely crazy. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank you for the support recently. And I'll see you lads later.